Dennis Murray. Um, okay, so uh, today is a podcast nine, uh, nine um, and it's called The Gift of Necessity. So yesterday we talked about uh, death and hate being part of our gifts instead of uh, curses. And um, necessity is as well. Um, it's difficult to see death as a gift and it's difficult to see hate as a gift. Um, but we can see that they give us things. And um, the same is true so that they, they really do contribute importantly to human life. Um, and the same is true for necessity, but it's a little more complicated. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to break it up into pieces. Uh, it may take me uh, two or three uh, different uh, short pod podcasts to uh, to cover it. Um, I'm experimenting. This is the first time I've ever uh, done a multiple takes. Usually I just say what I've thought about for that day and it takes as long as it takes, but when it's done, it's done and I put it up. But I've already done two of these before this morning and I wasn't that happy with them. They go on too long and they cover too much. So focusing down necessity is a gift because it leads us towards each other. Just as death gives us a, a gratitude for life and, and hate gives us um, soul, it gives us moral life, it gives us participation in um, uh, our lives uh, in a way we wouldn't have if we couldn't choose between um, uh, accepting the call and living in uh, relation to each other or refusing the call and living in rejection to each other. Um, necessity's gift is that it causes us to need to work together and in the process of working together over a long period of years where there's consequences, the company could fail, the farm uh, could fail. Um, and a lot of harm could ensue. Um, in that instance, then we gain some real understanding of what's inside the other fellow. And that's how we get the gift of each other. You can sit and talk at a bar with somebody and, you know, maybe you gain an understanding uh, as to what's deep inside him, probably not. If you did feel like you connected uh, uh, deeply, you really wouldn't know if you read it right until you spend some time with this guy over a period of years and particularly where there's consequences. Um, you'll be a cop together, you'll be teachers together, um, you'll be uh, uh, important uh, managers in uh, you know, a company that employs 100 people in your town. And um, if your company fails, your town hurts, not just you not just your investors and not just your employees, but the whole town, it matters. And in that instance, um, necessity leads us to each other and gives us an understanding of what's in the depth of each other that turns into a comfort for us that um, we're similar in that regard, that we all seem to have um, this awe inside us and we all seem to have a call. Um, to use our gifts as the best way to say thanks for our gifts and to um, um, turn to each other for comfort and support and extra courage. Um, so that's how necessity plays this role uh, of being a gift. There are, however, some details, two in, uh, general categories of details, one you're already very familiar with, and what I'm going to talk about in some detail tomorrow. The two points are, first, what we already know about the division of labor, that as it happens, humans typically are better at some tasks than at others. Um, accident of birth and circumstances, you may live in an area where you have access to certain resources, and as a result, you become fairly skilled at working with those. Uh, you may have been born in a family where there's a, a long line of skilled um, workers in a particular field. And uh, so you have that natural advantage. So we tend to 
uh, not provide all each of us our own needs. We tend to provide some things which we uh, use to earn our living and to buy things from others. Um, so, but we, we know about that, the division of labor. The thing I'm going to talk about tomorrow is a psychological specialization that we've largely not noticed until relatively recently. Um, and it's connected to something you may have all have heard about called Myers-Briggs. And it derives from some work of uh, Carl Jung about a hundred years ago uh, called Psychological Type. Um, but I'm going to present it in a rather different way. I'm going to show that there are things in our psychology that make us more skillful at certain tasks than at others, and that by working in groups, we gain the benefit of uh, other people having the other skills in a highly developed form that we don't have in our own lives. So I'm going to quit today. There's six minutes. Take care. See you tomorrow.